Welcome guys, getting right into episode 10 with the XM4, a super versatile gun with low recoil and a high rate of fire with the build right here, complete with the axial arms three times and the clean living reticle for the slickest sights. And I'm also using the high lip perk this time as well for those pesky solos. Let's kick it off. Game 1 started and ended about as quickly as it could, gulag and then stunned out of my mind after I hit the ground. Game 2, I lost due to some very poor positioning. I should have gone in the front door and not the back. That's what she said. Game 3, after dethroning the king, he came back with a vengeance and I was the one who got dethroned instead. Game 4, I don't even know how to explain this. UAV maybe, but I died. Game 5, I actually want to talk about very quickly because I could have won this and I threw it away. I caught this guy off guard and did some damage before I pushed and killed the next player, leaving me and the first guy alive. And I should have actually rotated around through the gas at this point, because instead I ran straight into the circle and this guy's had to hold down the trigger and kill me. But anyway, it's time for the money shot. It's buyback solos time, so I land on the helicopter in downtown and I hit the port looting the rooftops along the way. I get shot out of the sky almost immediately however and I'm left making a super long rotation out and dealing with a super aggressive rose player who's popping UAVs like a mumble rapper pops Xanax. My loadout lands on the opposite side of Mr. UAV popper so instead I take my cash to the end of the pier and grab the usual. Self revive, UAV and my loadout. High alert is the red perk of choice of course and I spot a fly that just needs to be swatted. With the super low recoil I don't miss a single shot and he goes down in flames However, he actually ends up grabbing a Burfa and just drives away. So I pick the precision airstrike up off the ground, and I look to go move into a more central spot in the circle. I actually come across the same Burfa, but it's parked. So I scope him to get eyes on, and I spot a player lying prone and light him up before he can react. Downing him, and then sending an airstrike his direction. It misses, of course, and he survives. Classic. So I take his ride and I start looking for some more kills. Driving a little bit further into farmland, I pop another UAV. I spot several dots on the map before I see one disappear to the north. So it's clearly got to be a ghosted player who's moving closer. Well it is, and he goes out wide to try and avoid me, but I see an easy kill on wheels and just lay into him, and he dies. I pick two more quick kills up, and as the circle shrinks, I decide it's time for another UAV. Well, lo and behold, there's two guys very close, so I try to get some elevation. With that not showing anything, I toss a snapshot grenade. At the same time, a guy flies overhead and I ruin his day, and as I flick back, I catch the silhouette of the guy behind the fence. I watch his position on the minimap and I see he's going to this little shack. So I go ahead, pre-aim the door, and start lighting him up. Once he dies, however, I turn my attention back to the second player approaching, but I get shot from the right and instead move inside to hold an angle on the side door. As expected, poor Rose comes sprinting in and gets sent straight back out in the casket, adding another kill to my counter. I turn my attention to the shot I received from the right, and I end up spotting a player using an airstrike and some gunshots. I buy my own, and I use a Bertha to try to look for him. Bingo. Well, he very clearly knows I'm here as well, so he plays this very slow, and I use the Bertha to third person peek him. After a bit, I jump out, and I start taking a few shots at him, and I just look to gatekeep him while the circle is closing. However, he plays this very slow, very slow, very, very slow, to the point where I had to speed this clip up by 400%. Yes. In the end, I decide he must have moved while I looked away, so I retreat to my truck. And what do you know, he makes his appearance then and there. Classic COD timing in a nutshell. Instead, I move ahead to take the next building and hold him with the gas. As I'm inside, though, a player respawns right above me. And I assume he's going to go ahead and take my Bertha, which I want because a rotation out of this house becomes 10 times harder if I lose it. As I back up, he makes his way into the window though, and I see an easy kill and put him down. The moment that happens, High Alert goes off behind me. The second time it goes off, I know he's right behind me. So I move up the stairs, and I win a fight that he's very befuddled by. Sorry dude, I don't know how I won either, I just did. Now comes the time to find the remaining players and take the top of the hill. Show the system out, and I'm good to go. I actually drive all the way around this left hand side of the zone without finding anybody, so instead I move to the top of the hill and I take the strongest position I can find and wait for the gas to push any remaining players out of prison. 
Well, it turns out I was right once again. One player is there and he is forced to glide into the zone, which means I get easy shots on him. Granted, my recoil control actually wasn't that great. I assume he's going to go to the buy station to make a gas play, so I airstrike. However, it turns out he doesn't even have a gas mask and he dies very quickly. Down to the last few players. I see the silhouette on the rocks on the very edge of the zone, and as he decides to run out, I ruin all his chances at winning the game by killing him. Now, we're down to the last few players, and one player dies without me hearing anything, so I assume they're over on the port hand side. Well, as it turns out, there is actually one guy on the very edge of the gas. I light him up a little bit, I move around to reposition, and since he's got a very exposed area to cross, I have three shots. And like that, we take another one home. Thank you so very much for watching guys, and I want to say a big thank you to those of you who have already subscribed. I just hit the 50 mark, which is truly awesome to see considering I started from nothing at the start of this year. So here's the bigger and better things. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to catch more, and until next time, take care, I'll see you in the next one.